Hey guys, on today's tutorial, we're gonna be updating your iPhone, iPad up touch to the latest iOS. So let's go right into settings. Under settings, you guys will make your backup first of all, okay? That's just in case we have to restore your iPhone, iPad up touch. Whatever you guys have, you may have to restore if something goes wrong. So make that backup manually, it's right up here. Just go right into it and manually back it up on iCloud. Or just plug it into your computer and you guys can use iTunes, which is a free program to back up if you guys have no more space on your iCloud. And that backup on, I, on iTunes, it's actually almost unlimited, all right? So you don't have to worry about those five gigs. Um, you basically just worry about how many gigs you have inside your computer in order to make that backup. Anyways, once you guys do that, go into general. And under general, your second option will be software update. Under software update, you guys should see this now. Right this moment, I see install now. For most of you guys will see download and then install now, okay? Um, the reason why I only have install now is because I already downloaded the update and I just have to install it. So I'm not gonna tap on install at this moment just because what's gonna happen is that my iPhone's gonna turn off, all right? So it's gonna reset and then we're gonna see an Apple logo loading bar. It's gonna load up. And that's about it. It's actually a really fast update. It's not that big at all. You guys should not take more than 15 minutes. 15 minutes, it's even stretching it for the newer iPhones. Um, if your iPhone doesn't have too much of its storage taking up and it's fairly new, then you guys should be looking at most likely five to 10 minutes max. Uh, for older iPhones, this may take up to 30 minutes. I can see that happening if you have your storage almost full and older iPhones, sure. If you guys are just waiting there an hour and you're pretty much stuck at uh, one, two hours, then you may have to restore. And that's why I told you guys in the very start to make that backup, just in case. Once you restore, that's gonna erase all your iPhone and then you guys can just bring everything back up again from your backup. Anyways, um, that's pretty much the process. That's what's gonna happen once I, uh, once I press install now. Um, just make sure to have 50% of your battery, okay? And even if you guys have 100% like I do at this point, I still hook up my iPhone, iPad up touch to some electricity when updates are happening. And that's just in case um, I just don't want them to die during the installation process. If they die during the downloading process, it doesn't matter. However, when you're installing and something happens, it does matter because you guys will have to restore, sadly. But again, backing up is the greatest thing. So we're just gonna press install now. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here really in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.